In this video we're going to show you how to make the wire connections for five speakers and one subwoofer to the back of your surround sound or home theater receiver. We're going to use two methods for connecting the speakers to the back of the receiver. We're going to use the bare wire method pictured on your left and we're going to use a banana plug pictured on your right. Now a banana plug usually consists of two or three pieces. For this demonstration we're going to use an 18 gauge two conductor speaker wire. The first speaker we're going to wire is the center speaker. It's positioned at the bottom center of your screen. The reason it's located at the bottom center of the television screen is because that's where most voices come from in a movie or audio track. You could mount it directly above and on the center of the screen as well, but preferably you want to put it below the screen. Now you're looking at the back side of a fairly typical surround sound home theater system, and at the right bottom corner of your screen, you'll notice the label Center. We're going to connect the center speaker here. Because we're using just a bare wire to connect the center speaker, go ahead and spin the binding posts to an open position. This is pretty straightforward. We're going to take the red wire and match it to the red binding post and the black wire and match it to the black binding post. Now I strip the wire back maybe a third of an inch. I don't want there to be any risk of one wire touching another bare wire causing a short or poor performance in the speaker sound. Now your center speaker is connected. The next speaker we're going to connect is the front right located at the bottom right corner of your screen. The process of connecting the speaker is identical to connecting the wire on the back of the receiver. Simply match red to red, black to black. For this video we're using an 8 ohm speaker. Make sure the ohm rating on your speaker matches the ohm output rating on the back of your stereo receiver. If you don't, you risk damaging both the speaker and your amplifier. Because we're hooking up the front right speaker, we want to look for the set of binding posts labeled front, right, and spin them open. Tighten down black to black, and then tighten down red to red. Make sure you cut the lengths of your wires long enough so that you can move your receiver around into its final position and get the wire to the speakers. We're going to wire the third speaker. It's the left front speaker located at the bottom left of your screen. Locate the binding post for the front left speaker. In this example it happens to be right here, front, and then below that is the letter L. What you're looking at right now is an in-ceiling speaker. It's located toward the right hand side of your screen. It's the circle and it's kind of in the center of the screen. This particular speaker happens to actually be the left rear speaker. It's been installed slightly behind the sweet spot, which happens to be a sofa. And it's slightly outside of the end of the sofa. At the top center of your screen is the right rear in-ceiling speaker. We're going to connect both of the in-ceiling rear speakers using banana plugs. Now this particular receiver will support a total of seven speakers. However, for this example, we're only connecting five speakers and the one subwoofer, thus making it a 5.1 surround sound system. What we want to do is identify the connection point for those two rear in-ceiling speakers. Look for the label surround. The first one we're going to connect is actually going to be the right. Now what you see wiggling in your screen, these are the banana plugs for the right rear in-ceiling surround sound speaker. 
let's demonstrate how easy these are to install on the back of a receiver. All we do is take the banana plug labeled black and push it inside the black binding post. Repeat the process with the red. Lastly, we're going to connect the fifth speaker, the left rear channel speaker. On the back of your surround sound home theater receiver, locate an outlet labeled subwoofer or subwoofer pre-out. In this example, it happens to be this one right here. This is what the end of the wire on a typical subwoofer wire connector looks like. You simply plug it in to the outlet. It's just one connection.